Las Vegas, September 7, 1996. Mike Tyson is fighting Bruce Sheldon at the MGM Grand Hotel. Multi-platinum rap artist Tupac Shakur is there to watch Tyson, his friend. After the fight, Shakur rode with his boss, Suge Knight, the CEO of Death Row Records, to a party just off the Las Vegas Strip. Their security team went in separate cars. Knight was behind the wheel, Shakur in the front passenger seat, when witnesses say a white Cadillac pulled up next to them at the intersection of Flamingo and Koval. Witnesses then say a gunman in the Cadillac extended his arm out of the back seat window and fired a semi-automatic pistol at Shakur from close range. After the shooting, the white Cadillac made a right-hand turn here on Koval, speeding away. Suge Knight, with Tupac leading in the front seat, made a U-turn on Flamingo and started driving back towards the strip. Two police officers who were on duty heard the gunshots, but when they responded, they followed Suge Knight and Tupac which allowed the white Cadillac to get away. There were several possible motives for the murder. Three hours before the shooting, this MGM casino surveillance video shows Shakur, Suge Knight, and their entourage attacking Orlando Anderson, an LA area gang member. Many believe that Anderson, seen here after the beating, and his friends shot Shakur in retaliation. CNN asked Anderson about the accusation. Were you involved in any way in the death of Tupac Shakur? Well, I was not involved. Anderson was shot and killed months later in a gang-related shooting. Another theory focused on the gangster world that Tupac sang about. Many believe the murder was part of an East Coast-West Coast rap war and a dispute between Shakur and this man, a one-time friend named Christopher Wallace. Made famous with his hits like Big Papa, Wallace, a New York rapper, was known as Biggie Smalls, or Notorious B.I.G. There had been an ongoing public feud between Biggie's record label Bad Boy Entertainment, run by Sean Puffy Combs, and L.A.'s Death Row Records, run by Suge Knight, which represented Tupac. Six months after Tupac's shooting, Biggie Smalls came to California to promote an upcoming album. During an interview with San Francisco radio station KYLD, Smalls denied any involvement in Tupac's death and seemed to want to put any rap war to rest. I'm just getting over, you know what I'm saying, this whole situation with this East Coast, West Coast thing, you know, when right. they was going through their things and we were going through our things. I just came over, you know what I'm saying, trying to, like, basically squash it. Four days later, on March 9th, 1997, Biggie Smalls was shot and killed in Los Angeles. Smalls was leaving a music industry party. He was shot at a busy intersection while riding in the passenger seat of this Suburban. When you heard the shots right now, everyone started running. The shooting was eerily similar to Tupac's six months earlier. Given the fact that, that they were both gangster rap artists, naturally our people will be contacting the Las Vegas authorities to see if there's any connection in the two. Where this uh, blue vehicle is where Biggie's uh, Suburban was. He was stopped just like this vehicle right here. Former LAPD detective Russell Poole was one of those assigned to the Biggie Smalls case. Witnesses say the gunman looked like this. He was alone, drove up next to Smalls, and shot him at close range. Poole is convinced that Suge Knight ordered Biggie Smalls' murder, even though Knight was behind bars at the time. He also believes that off-duty LAPD officers who were working for Knight's death row records helped plan the murder. Suge Knight ordered the hit. Reggie Wright Jr., the head of security for Rightway Security and Death Row, uh, uh, organized the personnel to plan the hit. And I believe police officers were uh, a big part of the hit. Poole says he believes Suge Knight also had Tupac Shakur killed because the rapper was planning to leave Knight's death row records. Poole says he retired early from the LAPD out of frustration because of this case, saying the department didn't allow him to pursue leads that involved other cops. I think uh, I was getting too close to the truth. I think they feared that the truth would be a, a scandal. Poole later assisted Biggie Small's mother in a lawsuit claiming L.A. police covered up officers' involvement in the shooting. Bernard Parks was the chief of police when Poole was investigating. He's now an L.A. city councilman. He tells CNN Poole's accusations are, quote, absurd, saying, quote, 
we would have never ignored a lead that could have helped us solve that murder. We couldn't get Suge Knight to sit down for an interview, but he has told CNN he had nothing to do with either murder. Reggie Wright Jr. did agree to appear on camera. He was Death Row Records' head of security who says he ran the company while Suge Knight was in prison. Did you have anything to do with Tupac's murder? No, sir. Or Biggie's? No, sir. Wright says he believes that Tupac was simply killed in retaliation for the casino fight, and Suge Knight, whom he says he no longer talks to, was not involved. Know that he 100% had nothing to do with the murder of Tupac Shakur. Suge. Suge Knight. Biggie Small, I honestly do not know. Both the Los Angeles and Las Vegas Police Departments say the investigations into the shootings of Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls are ongoing. Ted Rollins, CNN, Los Angeles.